Now, in a world first, scientists have successfully managed to artificially impregnate an endangered white rhino. The egg of a southern white rhino was fertilized in a laboratory and successfully transplanted into a surrogate mother. The breakthrough is being hailed as a chance to potentially save the related northern white rhino. This mother and daughter are the last of their kind in the world, and scientists are hoping that they can bring the species back from the edge of extinction. And for more on that, I can speak now to the man who is in charge of that project and who performed the procedure on the rhino, Thomas Hildebrandt. He is the head of the Department of Reproduction Management at the Leibniz Institute for Zoo and Wildlife Research here in Berlin. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon and congratulations on this breakthrough. Does it mean that we now have the tools to save animals like the northern white rhino? Yeah, first, I want to say that it's a success of an entire team, an international team. Uh, it's not uh, me as a person. Uh, we are more than 30 experts and we are uh, yeah, a lot of dedicated people following this uh, route now for 15 years. And this uh, breakthrough actually opens up the, the chance to uh, work with the northern white rhinos and then use this portfolio we developed also for other critical endangered species. However, it should be not a blank card for a bad political decision because we won't only repair what was uh, done as mistakes in the past. We won't not uh, do this for future bad decision uh, because I think the humankind has to learn to be more responsible with the resources of our planet. The process is uh, pretty complex and expensive. Do you think that we're ever going to be able to see it performed at scale? or rather the scale that would be necessary to rebuild an entire population? I think uh, to judge the value of uh, keystone species like the northern white rhino uh, is relatively difficult because an entire ecosystem is dependent directly or indirectly to the species. So thousands of other species are, like plants, insects, uh, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals are directly involved or not involved with these northern white rhinos. So I think to to repair, to heal a complex ecosystem, that can't be judged enough, uh, even if it costs maybe several million dollars. Imagine what war costs or what it costs to fly to the moon. I think uh, to have a healthy planet is much more important than these uh, other things. And to, to your point, specifically, the northern white rhino, it didn't become extinct because of problems with reproduction, but because humans actually destroyed its natural habitats and hunted it for its horn. Um, as long as that problem persists, I mean, your work is a bit like fighting windmills, isn't it? You know, what, what's, your, what's your broader <laughs> message um, about how to move forward here in a way that's constructive on both sides? Yeah, it's a very good standpoint, but I believe that the young generation will recognize the value uh, if we can bring back the northern white rhinos in Congo or Sudan. Uh, uh, bringing back the northern white rhino uh, into these home range countries and then use them as an ecotourism attraction. I think uh, if you look back what happened in Australia in the beginning of the 20th century, there was a bounty on the Tasmanian tiger. Now uh, Australia is spending millions of dollars to bring back the Tasmanian tiger. So I think there can be a change in the position uh, of the public to these animals. And I uh, strongly believe that this will happen. Uh, we have the example of Rwanda, which protects the mountain gorilla very well. So I think it is really uh, not an argument to believe that these home range countries will not be capable to, to protect the treasure as a very center point for ecotourism. Can you give us your best case for saving the white rhino? I mean, um, isn't the extinction of a certain species a normal part of life on earth and, and evolution? Why do we need it? <laughs> yeah, the, so the, the northern white rhino didn't fail in, ex, uh, in evolution. It is only not bulletproof. That is the only mistake it did uh, because it is hunted down to, uh, to, for its horn. Uh, the best uh, scenario I can give you is that we in two, two and a half years have the first calf on the ground. We transfer the social knowledge of the last two northern white rhinos to these calves. And then we work on the genetic uh, diversity using in vitro gametogenesis 
pathogenesis, meaning we make gametes from skin cells in test tubes and then uh, produce out of them uh, again vital rhinos. Uh, further rhinos, and we might even use uh, mesial material to enrich the, the growing population of the northern white rhinos so that in 15, 20 years, these animals can be released in their home range and they will hopefully will live another 100,000 100, years, maybe 500,000 years. Exciting stuff. Thanks so much for joining us uh, to share a little bit Thank of insight into your work and, and on your breakthrough as well. Congratulations. Thomas Hale de Brandt, we appreciate your time.